The nervous system is made up of a functional unit known as the neuron and the neuron is a specialized type of cell that is capable of accepting, generating and sending electrical signals to other cells in the body and this is a very effective and efficient way of communicating between cells. Now the question is, are there any other cells found inside our nervous system, inside the body, aside from these neurons? And the answer is yes. In fact, we have many more of these other cells found inside our nervous system than our neurons. Now all these other cells fall into a category that we call neuroglia. So neuroglia, also known as glial cells, are all the other cells aside from the neuron found inside our nervous system. And the purpose of these other cells, the purpose of neuroglia is to basically uh, increase the effectiveness and functionality of these neurons found inside our nervous system and to support these neurons in different ways. So that's exactly why neuroglia or glial cells are commonly known as the support cells of the nervous system. Now, generally speaking, our nervous system can be broken down into two divisions. We have the central nervous system, which includes the brain and the spinal cord, and we have the peripheral nervous system, which includes everything else. And these two divisions themselves contain their own different types of neuroglia. So let's discuss the different types of neuroglia in the central nervous system as well as in the peripheral nervous system. So within the central nervous system, we have four major types. We have astrocytes, we have ependymal cells, we have oligodendrocytes, and we have microglia. Within our peripheral nervous system, we have satellite cells, and Schwann cells. So let's discuss the functionality and the structure of each one of these cells. And let's begin with the astrocyte. So the astrocyte contains a cell body as shown. It contains the nucleus shown in blue and it contains other organelles not shown. It also contains these extensions and these extensions basically wrap around and connect to our neuron as well as blood vessels and they connect via gap junctions. So basically the oxygen and the nutrients such as our glucose that is traveling through our blood can actually get to the neuron via these astrocytes. On top of that, the astrocytes are also capable of actually providing physical support to the neurons and they maintain the nutrient and ion concentration in and around our, our uh, neuron. So let's move on to the second type of glial cell in the central nervous system known as our ependymal cell. Now the ependymal cells are basically those cells that line the spinal cord as well as are found in certain sections of the brain. And the entire purpose of these ependymal cells is to help generate the cerebrospinal fluid. In fact, they use these cilia and these cilia move in a wave-like fashion as shown in the diagram. So these are our ependymal cells. So they contain the cilia that move and the movement of the cilia helps move our cerebrospinal fluid around our body. So let's move on to the third type of support cell of the nervous system in the central nervous system known as oligodendrocytes. Now let's recall the structure of the neuron. So the neuron contains the dendrocytes which accept our signal. We have the cell body which contains the nucleus and the organelles. We have the axon hillock which generates the electric signal and we have the axon. We also have the axon terminal. Now the axon usually Usually contains myelination and what the myelin is it is basically a special type of substance that's composed of protein and fats and these myelin sheath or simply myelin help insulate our axon and that means that increases the speed of propagation of the action potential along our axon. Now within our central nervous system, the cells responsible for actually creating the myelin around the axon are the oligodendrocytes. 
So they use these extensions to wrap around specific regions of the axon and actually create those myelin. So let's move on to the fourth type known as microglia. So microglia, uh, microglia are those cells that differentiate from monocytes found inside the bone marrow. So inside the bone marrow we have monocytes, they become microglia, and then the microglia travel to the brain and they basically function as macrophages. And that means they basically eng uh, engulf different harmful types of things such as some type of harmful debris. So if this is our debris floating around our neuron, the microglia basically eats up the debris and breaks it down so that it doesn't, harmful, uh, it doesn't harm our neuron in any way. So these are the four major types of neuroglia, glial cells, support cells found within our central system. Let's move on to our peripheral nervous system. So basically we have satellite cells and Schwann cells. Now the function of satellite cells is very similar to the function of astrocytes, but the structure of satellite cells is somewhat different. So the satellite cells actually cover the outside surface of the neurons and they basically provide a supply of nutrients and other things into our cells, into our neurons. On top of that, they also give structure and support to our to our neurons and they protect and cushion those neurons so that they aren't damaged in any way. Now Schwann cells are very similar to oligodendrocytes in a sense that they create the myelin on the neurons found in the peripheral nervous system. So these Schwann cells basically attach, physically attach to our sections on our axon and then they secrete that myelin material onto our axon. So these are the Schwann cells. So notice that they're different from oligodendrocytes which are separate from the axon. So this is the body of the oligodendrocyte while this is the body actually attached onto the axon of that neuron. So these are the four different types of glial cells found in the central nervous system and these are the two different types of cells found within our peripheral nervous system. So all these different types of cells are known as neuroglia, glial cells or support cells of the neurons found in the nervous system of our body.